Hello and welcome back to the Tipsy Trippin' Rednecks Cookie Dough Grow. Today I have something a little bit different to show you. It's something that none of us want to see in the garden. We have dirty fingernails. Oh, actually we're looking right down here at the uh, male flower and the seeds that just came out the cookie dough. Uh, it's very unfortunate that this has, uh, has happened. Uh, but, you know, things happen. Um, like I said, I don't uh, blame uh, Tipsy and Trip any, uh, Tipsy and Trippin whatsoever. Uh, they're awesome guys, and uh, I've got a lot of respect for them. But, it does bring up something that uh, I think we kind of need to talk about here within our community is um, is about breeding. Um, the breeder on this, I don't know who it would have been. Um, didn't do a good job. I'm going to come right out and say it. Uh, this is not something that you should be handing out to people. Um, you can't be breeding with hermit plants. It's just not just not cool. For some people in our community, their cannabis is their life. And um, if they can't have their medicine, it could be quite detrimental to them. And by handing out seeds that are um, known to be hermy, um, and I'm talking from the breeder level, that's just not good. Uh, the other thing is, well, in my situation, I have this one little plant here that may have pollinated my OG Recon. And that's definitely not cool. I like to say the main thing here is uh, if you want to get into breeding out there, please, number one, make sure you've got a good five to ten years growing experience of varieties of different strains. Number two, when you do get into breeding, make sure that whatever you're using doesn't have any traits to harm. Uh, it's kind of frustrating. I'm not really uh, teed off that much, but a little bit. More of a disappointment than anything. Uh, but like I say, this is a disappointment to the breeder and nobody else. Well, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye for now.